Hey, it's me, Troy from Scare Hollow, and I need to shave. Why does it, oh, I always do vlogs right when I shave, and when I look at this, there's so much. It looks so weird because, like, I don't know. I hate shaving. I can't wait till I'm like old and I don't have to shave anymore. Anyways, so, um, it has been an awesome last couple of days. Um, as you saw, well, because I, I don't know how I'm going to present this vlog, so it, 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 it could be a mashup of a bunch of things. But Because I have some monster truck stuff that I haven't even shown yet, so I might not even put that on here. So it might just be the stuff that I'm going to show you here in a few minutes about our trip up to Hellmouth, um, where um, we had an amazingly fun time. And I know most of you have probably already seen Troy's vlog about it. And so, you know, I'm not the gloating or, you know, bragging type or anything like that so uh, you saw what we did and I'll show you a little little bits of it um, I might take out some of the stuff that I had on there before because I did some rants on the way up there and stuff like that and one of the coolest things is is I went I drove by the firing range at the joint Lewis record base thing and um, they were actually firing their their guns and they weren't really hitting the targets <laughs> um, but it for some reason because I probably I was already recording and it recorded like my thigh or some somewhere in the car I don't know and so it didn't record any of it and it sucks because it was super cool to watch so I may have to go up there again Troy said that he has he's lived there a very long time and he's never seen them do it so it was probably it was pretty rare of course that I didn't get to be able to do it but I look it's got a wing nah. look Troy has a creepy lake. I have a creepy lake. This is in Vancouver, though. And of course, what road trip would not be complete without... Taco Bell! Taco Bell. Taco Bell. So, you know, uh, let's try to get some white balance here. There we go. So, you know how Troy always says that he, that everything always happens in Lakewood? You know, it's bad stuff. Um, well... I just got outside of Olympia, and this is what we have so far. It's an hour and 24 minute delay. Because some asshole decided to kill his girlfriend in University Place, and then lead the police on a chase, because he figured, hey, if, if I run from the police, they won't catch me and I won't have to go to jail. Because that's the logic of dumbass criminals. Uh, so then he decided, you know what? I'll do one better. I will just shoot at the cops. So he shot at the cops, and they shot him and killed him on I-5. So Troy's guiding me to another route to get off this freeway. Sorry. Uh, so I guess you can answer down in the down in the comments, but if you're in a backup that you knew was going to be an hour or something, there's been signs back to b before Centralia, which is almost... F uh, 30 miles south of here um, saying that there was a huge backup and then the, the I-5 is closed. Um, right now it's saying that it's going to take 78 minutes to get to Tacoma, uh, 50 minutes to get to the base, the Army base, the Joint Base Lewis McCord, um, which from here is normally only about 10-15 minutes, so you can understand the backup. But why would you change lanes? from the middle lane to the left lane or the middle lane, you know, you, you know, I mean, after you're on the freeway, why would you change lanes? What is the need? If we're all going the exact same speed and we're all going the exact same places and you can't go any faster, why do you need to change lanes? All that does is create more backup because people are stopping to let you in or out. And I don't understand that. Plus there's people coming on the exit back there that are literally like streaming down and they're going, oh crap. And I don't know if they knew it from the, from the, uh, you know, they probably should have a cop up there or a sign or something like that that says, hey, don't come on the freeway because there's, you know, huge backup. Um, so, yeah, here's the... That's crazy. That was upside down.
Is that fucker Jim? It is fucker no, Jim. It is fucker. It is a fucker Jim. Hey, wait. I thought you said you were going to have your pants off and it'd be balls out. You oh. lied to me, fucker. I have my yeah, pants on. I put, I put my pants on just us. as well when I went yeah, by right. the when I went by the Air Force Base. I thought it might be a little oh, weird. Wait, yeah, because have all those guys satellite, come out there. Satellite yeah. photos. And oh shit? no! Look, yeah. there he is. 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 We thought we'd make it a month month straight. And it's you! Oh my gosh! Wow. He doesn't even know yet, though. I don't know what. Are you guys here to like do horrible things to me? Of course. There's a barbecue. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm always confused. Always confused. Buddy. How you doing? <laughs> Hi. Hi, buddy. Hi. How you doing? What's up? Woo. Hi, guys. Whoa, we had just had a cam. Cam. We did. We did. What are we doing? What are we doing? What, what, what are we doing? Well, yeah. well, um, this. Yeah. There's a barbecue. That's for you. What do you mean? From the Northwest Hunters Association. Huh? Yeah, we got a brand new barbecue for you. Okay. Yeah. Oh wait, but there's more. What? Oh, but there's more. Yes. Well, I gotta pull this out. So, on one of your uh, vlogs, uh -huh. you mentioned that you wouldn't mind having a uh, an easy up uh -huh. for your business. And then some foam straps to put around the legs. Right. So you that wouldn't would... injure anybody's car. So we have Gosh. a brand new easy up for you. And, Phoenix clothes, Phoenix clothes, and that's only half the food. Wow. Yeah. So, this technically was Ashley's idea, uh huh, because she saw the vlog of with the with your with the fire coming out of the pipe underneath oh. your barbecue. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That's funny. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Leave it to a woman. I know. I know. Hey, you're gonna do it. Mm, no, I'm not. Yes, you are gonna do it. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Yeah. During his midlife crisis, my dad got really. <laughs> uh, uh -oh. Can't even finish it. <laughs> and then the police skater chimes in with, "You got anything else? You got anything at the bottom?" <laughs> my dad got really into. The dad got really into. Dad. <laughs> so he got really into penis envy. <laughs> Winking at old people, clenched butt cheeks, or lumberjack fantasies. You know what? He's a cheater. Thank you. He's a cheater. What? Which one was you? You never had a fantasy about a lumberjack? Are you a lumberjack? No. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I work all night. I work all day. <laughs> you do work all night. His favorite porn star is Joey McGee. <laughs> Penis cam. <laughs> Get your camera out so you can see this kid. What? Get your camera out so you can see this kid. My new favorite porn star is Joey Batman McGee. <laughs> My new favorite porn star is Joey, the Chinese gymnastics team McGee. <laughs> The whole team? The whole team. Wow. wow. <laughs> My new favorite porn star is Joey... Queech? Queef? Is Queef? that how you spell queef? No. What is it? Quiche or queef? That's quiche. Quiche. Oh, That's quiche. a French pie. Yeah. Oh. That's, That's a French, French egg, egg pie. pie. Yeah. Yes. Quiche. Okay. McGee. <laughs> or... My new favorite porn star is Joey Sean Connery McGee. <laughs> Personally, I like the Sean Connery one because I think that's funny. Well, I actually, no. The, because you oh. can't actually do a Sean Connery impersonation. Right. Yeah, you can. Well, no, I can't. I can't. <laughs> you can't. I, okay. You can't do any impersonations, can you? I can impersonate myself. No, he does a pretty good Forrest Gump. He does. He, he yes, does he, did, he, did, he did. He did. He did show uh, that. Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. Stewart from Mad TV. Oh. Oh yeah. Because you really have to get into Stewart. And you have to get into Stewart. Well, yeah, you really do. Yeah, because that's like Stewart. Do you take your glasses off when you get into Stewart? I don't want to take my glasses. <laughs> what Mom, what mommy, can you do? Mommy says that's rude. Don't do that. Don't. Stop. Don't. Look at this. This video, well, you can kind of see the fog from there. 
when you go underneath it, obviously, because of the lights. But what's funny is it is very thick fog. What's funny is I can see better through the viewfinder than I can on on the actual road. That is so weird. It's almost like I could drive better with this. You know, it's starting to light up, lighten up now. I just came through a very rough patch of fog. So, barbecue. It was good. Uh, just a good little impromptu visit. I kind of like that, being being spontaneous. Um, my wife was super okay with it. She took the kids out, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go hang out with Troy. So, um, I'm sure many of you know what's going on with him and all that. So, it, um, you know, it was a good positive day for him. So that's that's what the plan was. That's all fuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Um, so anyways, it's 2.55 in the morning and I'm heading home. So uh, I won't be posting this probably until Sunday afternoon, but I will talk to you all again and uh, see you guys later. Bye. So that was pretty cool, huh? Uh, yeah. So, um, thanks to Troy for having us there, and thanks for Jim and Liz and Jacob. Um, it was a, a fun, fun evening. I, I don't think I left till like two something in the morning. Um, so, that's nah, my daughter going to the bathroom. Okay. Dad. Liz. I got the dignity that's a bed. Okay, got good news and bad news. What's your bad news? I'm gonna tell you the good news first. Oh, before. tell me the good news first. All right. It it good news. Good news, pretty girl. And what's the bad news? The bad news is I had the party. <laughs> That's the bad news. Uh, what? Uh oh, the bad news is um. I had a grandfather. That's not bad news. That's good news. Yeah. You don't have any bad news. All right, go out, go out there and play. What? So yeah, we did that. That was awesome with everybody. Um, and so on top of all that, we've been doing a lot with the Northwest Hunters Association raffle and the. Um, Sorry, I'm watching my kids. Um, with the raffle and sponsorships of the Northwest Hunters Association, and it is really taken off, and it's quite amazing. Um, we have um, exotic lenses, and I love FX makeup, uh, which the exotic lenses.com and ilfxm.com. Uh, the links will be down below. Uh, they sponsored our website, and that was super awesome that, of them. Uh, so I'm constantly working on that to try to update it. Um, the raffle stuff is up. The sponsor and vendor page is up and constantly being updated. Uh, the haunt map is up. The camp out information is up where you can also buy your tickets to the camp out. Um, and I'm working on the haunt pages as well um, and tutorials and all that kind of stuff. So that'll be a work in progress over the next several months. I'm not gonna devote a ton of time to it. I wanted to get the sponsors and the raffle and the camp out stuff up uh, so that I wouldn't have to worry about you know continually you know waiting for that to come up so um so i mean it's kind of been a whirlwind the last couple of weeks um a lot of cool raffle prizes um so you can go to nwhaunters.com uh and go to the uh nwha raffle um page and you can see all the cool stuff that our members are going to be able to get um if you are coming to the show uh all you have to do is stop by the booth and fill out your little raffle tickets and it's free Fill your raffle tickets and put it in there. Um, so the West Coast Hunters Convention is April 29th through May 1st. Uh, and you can look up details on that at huntersconvention.com. Uh, I think three-day passes are $65, um, which is cool. You get all the classes. Uh, almost all the classes are free except for some of the make-and-take classes, which I'm doing a make-and-take class myself. Um, and... So, and then we have the costume ball. We have escape room tours. Instead of a haunt tour, we have escape rooms. Uh, we have three different uh, buildings that we're doing escape rooms in that have many different themes. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then we have, the of course, the costume ball. And then we have the movie night. So, but Northwest Haunters Association has a big booth there. We're gonna have a photo op and like a hangout area. Um, so you so yeah we're just we're getting ready um i'm i'm starting for the haunt specifically um i'm starting to get to the point where i'm ready to start sketching it um in sketchup and google sketchup and start getting 
an idea of materials that I need to get um, for the facade and her room and stuff like that. Um, just trying to get as much stuff together so that I know what I need to look for and what I need to get over the next couple months. So um, probably once it gets a little nicer, because I mean, it's nice right now, but it'll turn crappy and rainy in March and stuff like that. But um, it's like 60 degrees and sunny right now and it's February. But um, so we will probably start building stuff like the facade will be first, um, that and the trees that I'll be building, but the facade will be first and that will mainly go up. Um, it'll go up in pieces, you know, I will. Actually, I forgot to say it, so I'm going to say it again. Haunt on! Woo! Okay, bye.